Soldier panicked. Man, these people have no resolve. What the hell? Oh, hi. You're not the one with the stone launcher, but... Eddie? Eddie, don't. <laughs> don't mess. Howard Hughes kneeling aim shot. Nice, right in the face. And Krug standing. Nah, kneeling snapshot. Well done. And there's no door here? No. Right. There can only be a door on this side and this side, I believe. Not this side or this side because it'd be shadow there and you wouldn't be able to see the door, even if it were there. Right, Twilight Duck. 24 strength. Nowhere near good enough, but... You can throw it to somebody. Bounce it off their arm. Who can see? Can see, can throw. Can mostly throw. KPO 41, Johnny Z's 34. Throw it over to KPO. see whatever that is. No line of fire. That's kind of a good thing. Let's try shooting it again. that wall. There you go. Good job. And that might have cleared out a pretty good amount of wall. That's scary. I don't like that. It's a scary outline. Explosion. Very nice. Killed a couple to saw that time. Good stuff. Who needs to move still? Could argue that the disruptor pulse launcher is too good. Brought it on this mission. Probably won't be using it on these types of missions anymore. I just really wanted to, you know, get it out of my system. Um, I tend to reserve them for the first part of artifact sites and bases. The first part. But that's really about it. And I'll probably continue doing that. Stone Launcher guy's still around somewhere over there. Maybe he's the one who panicked. I don't know. Bunch more panicking going on now. And this is why I do it on the first part of Alien Bases, is because it's uh, Tassoth, Aquatoids, and uh, Tentaculates. And they definitely have the advantage. It's pitch fucking black. They've got the high ground. They're just, they're everywhere. It sucks. Everything's terrible. And you can start the panic spree early on. Good shot. Everybody but you panicked pretty much to Mr. Tassoth.
back. You see somebody totally else. Somebody totally different. Somebody else. God damn it. Try a grenade, but man. Ugh. That won't work. Right in the nose. Keep the panics going. All right. We sending the few in. Maybe. Get some vision and see what damage we're doing. Fucking up a lot of their ship. I probably killed a pretty high rank guy in that. That's the nice part about doing the supply ships from top to bottom, is you take out the high rank guys first. And then you work your way down and everybody's already panicking. I suppose it sort of works with this mission too. Sort of. You're gonna stun somebody else. But oh well. I might give the few some backup before I go in. Yep. Thought so, but we see this guy. We see this guy. Wait, 58. No. Wait, yeah, two snapshots. God damn it, Krug. You can't stun us all. The other guy's still down there somewhere. Get Twilight Duck over there, actually. We might need him. Johnny Z's doing fine, or doesn't have, doing fine, what am I looking at? Good God, you gotta pay attention. Doesn't have a flare, KP can run and get one, gets one, throws it, sees an alien, Johnny Z immediately kneels, aim shot, oh what a takedown, only wounded him though, God damn it. Little me, standing snapshot, two of them. Only needed one, nice. And our flyers. Yeah, we're in rough shape over there. That one guy's just gonna stun everybody. Okay, and the few. Can you actually s You can. Good hit. That stun guy may panic yet. I think he may have. Or he just doesn't see anybody. That could be too. What do we got? Clear-ish. Can we just... Uh, Throw it down there then. Stand it in front of the door, which is a terrible idea, really, but oh well. There we go, we see one. Though I think he's naked. Guy dropped his gun, that could be the same guy. Probably duck. I don't know if I need you over here or not. I don't know, I'm just gonna bring you. And Necro, I guess work on Daddy. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> Shut. I don't know. Outside the ship, we seem to be clear. 
Just work our way bleh, work our way down around to this door. Enter from both sides. It's so scary having so much darkness. It's like I know it's clear, but man. Just a little me standing over there all by herself, surrounded in darkness. Okay. We, uh, we fucked up the inside of that ship. Well done, guys. Our little Team Rocket back there is kicking ass. And out of energy. I do remember this. I do remember this vaguely. Difficult-ish area because of the, uh, the little half walls and there's like a room within a room within a room type thing. I think I remember that. Two squad leaders panicked and one went berserk. So I don't know how many squad leaders there are, but they are not doing okay right now. Ah, damn it. Okay. And he could still have grenades, so I don't really want to get more people up there. Daddy loader's back. Awesome. run down so I think there's still a dude down there maybe it's this guy who like ran up but don't know and over here how we doing doing okay I guess Flyers probably just AFK a bit to save up energy. I know Sijin's running pretty low. Yeah, down to 19. So I think we'll just hang out up here for a bit, looking down. And after a few turns, we'll head on and, and uh, start clearing it out. But otherwise, I think I'm done with you guys. So I will, I suppose, just run you guys out. Maybe you can get a couple more kills. I don't know. Run down and help us out. Never know. Oops, Twilight Duck. I will get you to... I didn't think so. Hang tight, though. Don't get too close. He might have grenades. Armor's good, but grenades can still kill us. The under armor is actually the worst part about this armor. I think for the most part, their morale is so bad that I'd have to fuck up pretty hard for them to actually start, uh, you know, feeling better about themselves and not being stuck in panic all the time, always. For the most part though, I think it's literally just run in there, find them and clean it up, which is going to be a bit annoying. If ever there is a actual honest to God problem with this game, it is that it is sometimes really annoying trying to find every last alien to finish them up. There's no such thing as good enough, which the UFO series of games that was done in 2004 to 2007 or so. UFO, what is it? Aftermath, Aftershock, Afterlight. Those games are awesome in that when you do good enough, the mission just kind of ends and it's like, yeah, okay, you did it, well done. You don't have to kill every alien, you have to kill like 80% of them though. Let's 
So surprised they're not doing mind control on me. I don't know if this is a problem with uh, OpenXCOM or what. But uh, no mind control. I have it set for line of sight yet. Uh, right in the face. But they're not doing it, so... I'm a little me. Sneaky aimed shot. 59%. Okay, hold on. APO. Back off a bit. Alright, cool. Just in case. We need to work on your accuracy, little me. Holy shit. 46? Gross. A kneeling aim shot should not be that bad. Ugh. But yeah, and the, um... The one ship type where it's like one of those uh, luxury cruiser things for people. Uh, those missions are the absolute worst for that because... Your weapons suck enough that you probably only knock out aliens all of the time and... It's a lot of bodies to keep track of and they can just wake up and run off and... There's a lot of rooms in those. And a lot of the rooms are just like... There's a bedroom and in the corner is a closet so there's two doors you have to go through. One for the bedroom, one for the closet, and you have to check it all. To get you off to the right, just in case I missed something like way out here. I think I got it all though. The people flying would have seen it. And there's a lot of bedrooms, and it's just, it sucks having to find them. Did I forget anybody? I know you guys, yeah. I'm waiting on your energy though. Necro will run you in. Oh, right. I remember. Yeah, to get into these rooms, you gotta go up this elevator. This is the dead end, I think. But you can go up this elevator and shoot your way through, or you take the main elevator and out, down the hallway, then down to check the room. Ugh. Traditionally, there's almost never any aliens in there, so you can usually ignore them. But, uh, you know, Open XCOM fixed a lot of their pathing, so... Gotta check it. And going back to alien hunting being super annoying, that's another thing where the first time you do it, it sucks because you have no idea. Next time, though, you sort of know where the aliens are or where they get stuck, and you just kinda... you get used to it in a way. Not really defending it, it's still bad design and it sucks, but, um, yeah, it sounds so terrible. It's more of a thing of relief sometimes, too, because, like, yeah, the aliens are panicking, we're really kicking their ass, and it's just, it's a really good feeling. And I don't mind these sort of nice, calm, let's go and hunt the aliens, you know? Just, uh, it's, it's relaxing. That's nice. I like it. To a degree. <laughs> uh, KPO. I guess just, uh... Yeah, why not? Just clutter up at the door here. I think we got this mission wrapped up, though, pretty much. You guys can probably move down now. Yeah, Sijin's looking pretty good for energy. Good shot. I don't know where that guy came from. If he came around the corner, I think we would have seen him coming. Holy shit, Sajin. <laughs> Sajin, your MC resistance is fucking terrible. One attempt. Good god, man. Alright, well. We need to kill that to Soth. Thirty-four. Yeah, Neil. God damn. That's not good. You know, what I was saying they uh, they're not really doing mind control. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> they're 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 doing it plenty. Good Jesus, man! So many aliens. They're everywhere. 
It's like this is gonna be a base one day or something. Jeez. And this guy, yeah, I don't know. Where the where are you guys coming from? You jumping down or something? Aye. Did I forget one down there? Man. We clear? Not feeling too good about the, uh, what's going on up there. They're only under mind control for one turn though. So maybe that Soth will panic and will be unable to do mind control again. To re-establish the connection. We'll find out. Yep. Good deal. And there's one on that bridge. Okay. Necro, blast through. There's... I didn't hear the door open. Okay. And there's you. Hi. Please die. And... Frog? <laughs> Just drill through? I don't know. Here, Sajin, welcome back. How dare you take control of me? Okay, that was pretty scary. But now I know. I don't know what his MC resistance is, but uh, for the first attack on him, from a hundred bravery down to just straight up taking control after one attempt tells me his resistance is probably minimum. Not a good candidate to bring on alien bases, but he's my most accurate person, so uh, I'm going to risk it. Probably up here, right? I think there's just one more. I think. I kind of hope. This mission's basically over. The aliens just need to just accept that. <laughs> just be like, oh, okay, you won. Abort mission, blah. <laughs> it's probably down in that room. Doors opening. Squad leader panicking on the first floor. Oh, hey. And there's another one. Hi. Where'd you come from? Unconscious? Don't know. Did it. Good God, 10 X elevators. I don't need it. <clears throat> 1500 points. Jeez. 200 ZR byte. Uh, 266 plastics. Good stuff. I can stop manufacturing that now. No accuracy for Sajin, sadly, but uh, plus two, plus two, plus three, plus three. Good stuff. Rogue and Judith both got a bunch. Good stuff. And I think that's just because we bought just a ridiculous amount. Manufacture, don't make plastics, make instead medkits just to sell. <laughs> 